Ashana wa Kenya ni wasample. Siko ubaya. Ile tuko uzuri. We've tried here and there. But eh, vumbi, boss. Ah. Imekuwa kwa boom. Kama kabibi. Eh, mimi. Ah. I think the worst part. Wardrobe malfunctions. Sometimes. It has happened to you? Eh? While shooting in an event? Not in an event. Uh -huh. Sasa, you know when you're shooting content, you're expecting a certain message to reach the people. Yeah. Well, the people who are going to message in wana chukua. Wani pata. So, Details. Yeah, so you're like, oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Jama mungina may notice. So yeah, that would be my, oh my God, moment. <laughs> Semi worst. So you're part of the worst. So, yeah. It's a beautiful evening right here at Kempiski with the La Jex Nyanjom, ah, president, born. President, president of Last Bonds here yeah. in Kenya. Here in Kenya, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, we're privileged to have him here. Thank of you. course, courtesy of Baisimu. Yes. And uh, we want to hear from you. Mm, yeah, Tell man. us where you're here. Yes. First of all, how are you? I'm well, Nendelia Poa. Mm -hmm. Kudunda, Kudonjo, mm -hmm. and Oku finish Kumalo. Mm -hmm. mm, to mingia both lege. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I saw someone calling you, at least you're a last born who's responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't, I've never seen a last born who's irresponsible in my life. Uh -huh. All last bonds are very hardworking, they're very passionate. Nivin yona konga me pimo, na siya tupendi pimo. Mambo raisi. Jake, kipenda kujua. Yeah. Uwe ukijiangalia right now. Yes. Mahali uko, na mahali yes. umetoka. Uneza, yes. what can you say about yourself? I'd say I'm proud of myself. Uh, I'm an example of not giving up, I'd say. And ningependa tu kusema, I continue on with the thrive, with the journey, the more intensity. Yeah, that's what I'd tell myself. Talking to you, why are you here? Mm. Why are you here? Go up at Jua by Simu, they're launching the Samsung financing, mm -hmm. have more of a like high end Samsung financing, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's why we're here, courtesy of by Simu. Mm -hmm. Talking about uh, financing from by Simu, of course, you're a content creator. Um, you've seen you do me okay, not millions, <laughs> a lot of videos. Yes, yeah. uh, of course, I believe most of the time with a phone. Yes, I'm doing it with my phone, uh -huh. actually. Mm -hmm. By Simu are the ones who help me. Yeah start to do a higher quality because mm -hmm. two tao ni kapatana na one of the people who work here yeah. who can introduce to the team and we we made up a contract and they really they really pushed my quality of content mm -hmm. that's what i'd say yeah uh -huh. content creation has brought you here to the level that you are right now yes. what is that one thing you'll tell someone mm -hmm. uh, who's trying or who's uh, planning on venturing into content creation Nini zaidi? I think the biggest thing you should look at for content creators is life is an individual journey. Because you know at the long run, you mm -hmm. go back to your, your videos, you say, damn, I wish I could get better. Yeah. Damn, I'm embarrassing shit, I mm -hmm. But with time, you realize that it always gets better. You always, life is an individual journey. Na manisha. Everybody who's there is just to add uh, into your story. Yeah. So as you continue molding your story, realize that you have to love yourself more. Yeah. So that was a cool expand that love to other people. And if you can share your message through social media, mm -hmm. don't give up. Millions are not going to be able to do it. Wow. I don't know if you're going to be But with time, and the God that I believe in you, people will believe in you. And the world will come around you just to build your own content. So never give up. Continue striving for the best. To see the world to do it. Bring down to the level of so kwa uko na backbiters the wako nyuma wako for a reason and pata so just continue on with your journey na is why give up yeah. and Jack still on content creation you do content with your mom yes how is it and uh kuna watu criticize kwa you disrespect your mother kulingana na zile content you fanya can you tell us the experience of working with your mom uh, in terms of content creation and how has it been uh i'd say one thing people don't know is my mom used to act late 90s she was in a show sikumbuki ni tuaje specifically but she she was in a show alikuwa sipi mama fu or something of the sort so she has a background in acting also me back in high school and primary i had a passion for acting got a few awards and so nikona this is an opportunity for us to do something bigger do something better and show a, a relationship between a mother and a son as much as inakanga ni kama mimi ndo nasumbua it's part of the creative a creative should show a uh, persona which is Jake's now 
in all different aspects mm-hmm. towards being a naughty person and yeah. pata. Sometimes we watch content yango and I'm like, damn, madhe, manze, unamsumbua sana. <laughs> then akumbuka ni acting. <laughs> yeah, so that's the journey imekuwa. Mm-hmm. Imekuwa tu hivyo. Uh, two question on that. Maybe what's your most memorable, rather your best moments in content creation mm-hmm. and uh, also your worst? I think my best moment in content creation is kufungua your phone. Mm-hmm. You're checking the vision that you had in mind and it may, it may come to life. You mm-hmm. may pata like some million views because mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie, a few videos may pata three million, two million, mm-hmm. a million. And just seeing it is fascinating. You're like, oh my God, all those people think this is funny. Uh-huh. How? You know, so <laughs> that's the most interesting part, I'd say. I think the worst part, wardrobe malfunctions sometimes. It does happen to you yeah. while shooting in an event? Not in an event. Uh-huh. Sasa. You know when you're shooting content, you're expecting a certain message to reach the people. Yeah. Well, the people who are going to message in wana chukua. So, Details. Yeah, so you're like, oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Jama mungina may notice. So yeah, that would be my, oh my God, moment. Semi worst. So you part about the worst. So yeah. Uh, on this specific one, mm. what exactly happened on this wardrobe malfunction? So, nili uh, akai video. video. Yeah, but there's, there's, there's just some unpleasant comments. Not hate comments, but comments I didn't expect. Uh-huh. So uh, that's as much as I can say. What watch I explore journey in but one of my content uh-huh. too, yeah. And also can you tell us the experience of working in a radio station? Like okay. uh chambo a vitu hapa kule, hapa kule. And you're so young now, what would you believe? Uh, being uh, young as you are, mm. uh, it's so challenging maybe mm. Zingine pia kudinazo, yeah. kama vitu kama about relationship, vitu kama hizo. And also about yeah. relationship, watu walikuwa na shuku shuku yuna dates mfulani, utatuambia leo ni nani. <laughs> <laughs> so nianze gani, nianze na radio. Okay, for radio, I'd say it's a very interesting journey. Yeah. Um, I do tell my closest people sometimes, as much as I've received a lot of love and support, and I mean, working at Homeboys is really amazing. I receive a lot of support from my team, from my people, na patanga advice, na the people who I can talk to in case of an issue. But just the mere fact of me being young, per se, it, it, it draws some level of loneliness. Because you don't know who to relate with in that sense. One part, it, it feels like a new journey. It feels like, you know, there's nobody who's been this young at radio. So you're like, damn, how do you go through it? How do you go through it day by day? Some people who have tried it at a young age stopped and continued. And you just look into their shoes and you wonder, okay, how did they do it? How did they not do it? And how do you better yourself? Because I'm trying to make a new jix, a new stacky compariwa. So that's the challenge I'm having right now. Mm. Maybe a a relationship. The other day we saw you in Tanzania. Yes. You've also met the family of your girlfriend. Yes. Harusi lini. Pake, pake. Wacha pesa ingi alafu. But as for now, yeah, I have a very beautiful girlfriend. She's called Karen Piquet. I love her so much. And uh, that's as much as I can say. I'm on Tagani. Niko na swali. Kuna watu nilikuwa nona wakiuliza. How? How did you decide kuvuka boda? Ah, you swali many uliza mara mingi. So, as chana wa Kenya ni wa sample. Siko ba, ile tuko uzuri we've tried here and there but eh vumbi boss. Ah. Imepoa kwa boom. Eh, mimi ah. Yaani vumbi specifically ni gani? Kuna wengine wanasema kidogo they they want a lot of money. Upkeep. I'd say yeah. I'd say I mean for a lady to like money is not a problem. I'd advise ladies to always go for the best and always go for what you deserve. Yeah. And your standard should always remain constant. And but as long as it's reasonable. Mm-hmm. But kuna uh, wale gold diggers per se, they're just in it for the money and not in it for the relationship. Yeah. So that's the challenge that you get. I love my girlfriend, Karen. To make one essence that I don't need struggle for, for my sense, Madel Kwasha make it in her own way, uh-huh. but from my perspective, Bado, I was still you know in the ground scratching it about, and you know, to me, Fika Depths Flan is in here to get some. I'm really appreciative of her for the support and all this journey she's gone through with me, and yeah, that's the most I can say for now. Uh-huh. Yeah. You see, even your mom dropping you at the airport, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so just just based off the content, mm-hmm. true to reality is I have a very amazing, a special relationship with my mother. 
and uh, I thank her for supporting my relationship. I think that relationship yangu na yake ndio imemold hadi nikaanza kufika Tanzania kusalimia her mom. Yeah. It's just practice unanipata. <laughs> Ukisha complete na your family, your sibling, your brother, your sister, ukisha complete with one of those people, unaweza ku go into the next level unanipata. Either it's work, either it's in all fields, but you know charity starts at home so that's the most I can say. Uh -huh. Yeah. What are your plans? Definitely you have something that maybe you're working on or you're yeah. planning to do. Aha. Uh -huh. One of my plans mm -hmm. since I'm a life ni individual, yeah. life ni journey yako. One of my plans is to to talk to people. You know I'm spreading a message even through my content. I'm spreading a message. I'm I'm showing a different vibe to this world. Na singe singe mind kuweka that vibe in music maybe once in a while. Mukikubali nenda nayo ikikata eh na kaatu nayo nitaifanya solo. But yeah that's something I'd, I'm very interested in and samanga I was talking to one of my friends the other day and I'm sure even if radio kiumane I'm not leaving music I have I have mixed tips yeah. for mixing I'm just a music consumer I just love music to that to my core yeah so that's what I'd say Okay yeah. right let's clear the message to your fans and also yeah. anyone who watches your video Kwanza ningependa kama last time last bonzo wangu nawapenda sana nawapenda sana nawapenda sana to everybody else who also supports the content I really appreciate it uh your support nimeza kunifanya nimefika these places and i'm always representing young people my gen z people manze never give up kama wewe ni mraudi endelea kuwa raudi lakini usipatikane jela but unanipata yeah break the rules to some extent until you're able to to reach your own lane to reach your own line uh, yeah right, thank you so much